Hi, everybody. Welcome to seventh grade remote e-learning with Miss Playlock. I am so happy that we were already coding because we have online software stuff to do. Some of you already have been making a cool app, which is so awesome to see. And I hope you're enjoying code.org. So the way this is going to work, each year classes are going to be using Google Classroom, including me. And we're going to continue to learn as we um, embark on this journey ahead. I hope you are all doing well and um, getting to sleep in a little bit, maybe. I know I've been liking to sleep in. So um, now that we're back to doing schoolwork together, I want to let you know how this is going to work. Monday to Friday, 9 to 2, your teachers will be available. So if you email me or if you post a private comment in Google Classroom, I get a notification. Um, and then I will respond to you. If everybody starts pinging me at the same time, I might be a little slow to get to you, but um, hopefully the flow of you know contact will be at a manageable uh, level. If you would like to talk with me, I can uh, call you via Google Hangouts and we can have an audio call, or I could even host a Google Meet if you and other students want to get together at the same time. I can set one of those up and we can all come in and chat at the same time. Um, so we have a lot of options. We can You can email me, you can private comments in Google Classroom, um, and then I can set up a meet if that's something everyone is interested in. I'm going to try to record videos to give you directions and also provide written guidance. And if I am not being clear, please let me know. Sometimes we think we're being clear and then forget what we were saying or I couldn't predict your question. So you're not in front of me and I can't read your body language. So I'm not really sure if you understand or missing anything when we're not together. Um, so for the first assignment, what I'm going to have you do is work on the code.org lessons. Now, when we posted the distance learning and I posted the rubrics, I wasn't sure how long we we're going to be out or what, how it was all going to work. So it, I'm sure it was overwhelming. I'm going to break it down for you and uh, hopefully this will make sense. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is go into functions. I know we already covered functions, but we didn't do all of the lessons. So I'm just going to show you in my screen. If you click on your dashboard, um, you scroll down to the express course. So not the unit five one, but the express course. And you click on a view course. It might be the gray button, but mine is this turquoise one. So you click on view course. And then when the express course opens up, if you remember, there's a title and then it says lesson with a number and then you have all these dotted numbers. So for day one, here is a snapshot of the rubric that I had shared with you before. You're gonna be an express curriculum. These are all of the lessons you're gonna do, but I'm gonna just have you reflect on like a small chunk each day. And I know we normally meet every other day, so I'm gonna give you two days for each assignment. So for the first one, you're going to watch this video on functions, and then you're going to answer this. And just when you click in here, you go up to text color. You change the color other than black. You can choose any color you want. Please don't choose white because I won't know that you wrote in there. That would just be mean. Uh, so just pick any color that I could see that's not black. And that way I'll know you're, com you're completed when I open it up. So you can write in another word for function, an answer from the video. How do you choose the name of a function? Why would you choose it? Um, and what are the two steps to making a function work in your program? So you've done that already in completing lesson 17 and 18. Remember, you had to put the name of it over there, and then you had to have your code over here. So you want to be able to write those two steps um, in your own words. And you, we're going to call this like our, our journal. Okay, so you're going to complete lessons 16, 17, and 18 in the code.org express curriculum under functions. And once you do that, you can complete the daily reflection. So you're going to watch a video, write your responses, and then once you complete 16, 17, 18, you make sure to type your answers in here again. Pick a color of your choice, and I'll just show you in code.org in the express course. I keep scrolling down. It says functions. Yours probably have more green dots than the screen does. So uh, lesson 17, functions with Harvester. 
in lesson 18 functions with artist but also functions um, in Minecraft. So lesson 16, 17, and 18. And I know that um, in class you probably had some time to, to, I think we did one through six. I'm trying to remember um, exactly. So here's the thing. You don't have to do every dot, okay? I would recommend doing at least the first five. So if you do the first five and you're like, oh, this is easy, I wanna keep going, go ahead and keep going. Um, if you are really having trouble getting to five, please reach out to me so I can help you. And I could use GoGuardian to look at your screen while you're coding and talk you through it. Uh, we could do a video, I could do a video and show you. I can, um, we can do like a lot of things. So I can, I can help you live if you need help. You just have to reach out and let me know. And um, so, yeah, you're going to do 16, 17, and 18. I would recommend doing at least the first five of all three of those. And then you're going to write your responses in here. And then when you're all done, you're by checking in, you're going to turn that in in Google Classroom. So I'll just show you. I have a draft here. I'm going to publish this shortly after I complete this video. Um, and it'll be in here. You're going to open it up. And then you're just going to be able to turn it in. So I hope I've been clear. I hope you know what to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day of remote e-learning. If there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask. If I am um, maybe doing things a little different than another teacher and you think they're doing it in an easier way to understand, let me know that too. So I hope that everything goes well and I will talk with you soon.